Hey guys, what is up? Dave here with a quick new video on the channel on the 2.06 update for 1320 challenge. That's right, we pushed a new update, came out on Halloween. Uh, it's a small update in the grand scheme of things, at least for you guys up front. So let's go over what's been added so far. So what I'm going to do is grab my RSX because I haven't messed with it yet. I'm going to go in, uninstall my wheels because we don't need wheels where we're going. Uh, I'll go over a bug fix list real quick. Um, nitrous is fixed on the 120 FPS. It's completely fixed. You will get three and a half to five races, depending on how uh, fast your vehicle is. You'll get at least three races out of a single refill. Uh, there is a new bug that I have to investigate. Your paint color will not come up, so make sure if you're going in here, Make sure you want to change everything, but this is actually where the first change is. I don't know how long we're going to leave this in. Probably 24 hours to a week at tops. If you go under graphics, you will see teeth. Teeth is an option for a small graphics badge, I guess you could say. Right now it does replace your entire graphic uh, on the car but in the future we want to try to convert them over to badges in some way so this is basically a halloween thing if you click teeth it doesn't show up until after the car reloads but pick your paint color i'm going to convert this thing to neon green uh this can be whatever i guess i don't know Make this whatever I want to make it. I don't know. I like to make things so you can barely see it. Graphic color, if you're selecting teeth, does not matter. We're going to hit save. And when this reloads, you'll notice there's a little teeth badge back here. That's just like a Halloween, you know, little Halloween badge. Um, I'm going to put 2023 above or below it in a future update. Just so people know, like, hey, that car is from the Halloween update in 2023. And then you'll never be able to buy these again anyway. Um, next thing as well is part shop. So not much changed in here except wheels. If you go to wheels, you will now see custom because we are making custom wheels for the game. They're not quite the same as these because... For the custom wheels we are using, uh, we're basically starting off with 1320 Legends, converting wheels from that. We don't have these style icons, so you kind of have to live with... Sometimes they just don't show up at all. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little weird. I don't understand. It's like when you first log in, they just don't work. But if you refresh the part shop, you'll see them. So Halloween 2023, they're only going to be available for a very short time. So you can grab these up. Uh, these were made by 4EN on the Discord. Uh, same with the TE37 Pinks. These are going to be limited edition. These will be available pretty much forever. But expect more options as far as wheels and stuff are concerned when it comes to you know wheels because we're going to be adding a ton more. Here's the Halloween wheels. Here's the Pinks. Personally, I'm going to put the Halloween ones on my RSX and then I'm going to go paint it orange because Halloween. But there's the Halloween wheels. They look sick. I believe these were actually custom made. He did some actual work on these to make them the way they are. But uh, I don't remember exactly what he said about that. You just have to click these three sliders and then it works. This is not bracket anymore. Uh, I don't know. So we're going to hit save. There we go. And you'll notice one other wheel in my garage. That's right. The five spoke Goldies from 1320 Legends have made their way into 1320 Challenge. But you might be saying. Where in the heck are these wheels? Why can't I buy them? These wheels will have to be earned. We are still working out the logistics behind it on how you will earn them. Right now, me, Espionage, Espionage, Mitch, 
and Brett will all have one set of these wheels, and that is it. So there are four sets of wheels in this game, and they are permanently affixed to whatever car we pick. Espionage picked Viper. I picked Evo. So I don't know what Brit Brett and Mitch are going to pick. I'm sorry. It's 1.50 in the morning. Good Lord. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they are going to pick. But they are permanently attached to these vehicles. Unless we somehow make like a parts seller or something like that. But I don't think that will be a thing ever. But the I threw out the idea of treating it very similar to 1320 Legends. Where they are given out to some form of a tournament winner. And it will be 10 wheels. And then that's it. They are never given out ever again. They are not rehashed. Uh, they will never be reused. They will not be resold. Once there are 14 sets total in the game, that will be it. So we also haven't really worked out logistics behind the idea of making them ultralights, for lack of a better term. It's probably something we'll put a community vote to. Right now, they weigh the same as the TE-37s. But maybe in the future, or I'll make a community poll. I think that's the best way to go about it. If trophy wheels should be lighter than any other wheel in the game, and nothing should match them. Uh that's how they did it in Legends, and it's not like they were negative 35 pounds or some crap like that. Like, it wasn't like that. They were slightly lighter. I remember racing Integra GSR against a lot of people on 1320 Legends, and one of the people that I used to race against had the Integra GSR with uh, these exact wheels on it. And... It wasn't realistically that insane of a difference. Like, there were races that he won that I just could have never matched. But overall, it wasn't a huge advantage. It was a slight advantage. But if you were good at the game, you could still win against that guy. So... I that's how I'd like to do it here. Like, let's say the lightweight wheels remove five pounds from your car right now. Ultra light wheels would remove eight or nine. It would be barely a difference, just enough that it makes the wheels worth it, and they aren't just visual. But that's something. Again, it would be a community vote. Would be what I would want to do. So, I guess we'll let you guys know. The only thing that sucks right now is don't pick the Dodge Ram. The Dodge Ram will never have... At the moment, wheels don't work on the Dodge Ram. We don't know why. I have the Halloween 2023 wheels. They don't show up. Oh, well. But anyway, uh, that's really it for the 206 update. It was just a small thing. There are going to be more wheels that show up. Once a week, once in every other week. I think I put five wheels into the client total. Five or six. Uh, so there will probably be another update in a month of another five or six. But, uh, you know, pay attention. The game's a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys playing. Uh, I've been talking to uh, Jerry a little bit lately. Uh, from, oh God, I should know his YouTube channel, and I can't think of it off the top of my head. One sec. That's what I was going to say. Racing Gamer Slovenia. Uh, Jerry over here. Um, He wants to check out 1320 Challenge, so maybe keep an eye out for a video. I've been planning on hooking him up and seeing, you know, we were thinking about doing a noob versus pro sort of thing. I'm not a pro in any sense of 1320 Challenge, but it would be really cool to teach somebody that enjoyed Racing Rivals as much as he did a game prior to Racing Rivals that the same developers made. 
So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.